Hello children. Today I am going to begin my class with a story. The story is about magic words. When you use these magic words when you talk, you are going to create happiness and magic everywhere. Once there was a little boy named Dan. He was playing in a park and the park was filled with plants and trees. In the middle of the park there was a tree with a sign on it. The sign said, I am the magic tree. Say the magic words and you will see. But the magic words were not mentioned in the sign. Dan tried to guess the magic words. He tried saying, Abracadabra. He did not see any magic. Then he thought and said, Hocus Pocus. He did not see any magic at all. And then he tried saying, Kulja Sim Sim. He did not see any magic at all. He tried saying so many words, but none of them worked. Tired of trying, he cried, Please, dear tree. On hearing the word please, the tree was so happy. Suddenly, a big door opened in the trunk. Everything inside was so dark. He entered in the tree. He couldn't see anything very clearly. And he stumbled on something and said, Sorry, my dear tree. The moment the tree heard the word sorry, the inside of the tree lit up with a bright light, showing a clear pathway. Now Dan could see everything. He walked further in to see a sign which said, Carry on with your magic. Oh, thank you, dear tree, said Dan. Now I can see everything clearly. On hearing the word, thank you, Dan saw something magical. It was a beautiful sight. Do you want to know what that was? It was a big pile of toys right in front of him. It was Dan's happiest day. It was all for him. Do you know what Dan did then? He thanked the tree again and shared all the toys with the children in the town. Children, like the story? Can you tell me what the story was about? It was about magic words. Can you recall what magic word Dan used? What was the first magic word? Tell me. It was please. We say the word please when we ask or want something from others. Now, look at this example. Here, the girl is asking the boy Please, can I play with you? And look at this picture. The girl is seeing that the boy is playing with the toy. She wants the toy too. So she's asking, can I use that please? Now, what was the next magic word? After please, Dan used the word sorry. So sorry is the next magic word. We say sorry when we unknowingly hurt others. Sometimes when playing with our friends, we accidentally push them or tease them. It is not good to give pain to others, so we should say sorry. It will make us feel good and others happy. Look at this picture. This girl is giving a gift to her friend. And what will her friends say when she gets the gift? The next magical word is thank you. We say thank you when you get something from others or when they help us. It's very nice to hear that magical word. Another important magical word is excuse me. We can say excuse me when we cough or sneeze. Sometimes when an emergency occur, we need to interrupt when two people are talking to each other. 
or when someone is on the phone. It's a polite way to get their attention. It often happens at home. You try to interfere when your parents are talking to each other. Am I right? Now on, wait for your turn to speak or if it is so essential that you speak. You can interfere but please say excuse me before you start. Children, can you tell me what all magic words that you learned today? Please, sorry, thank you, excuse me. Use all these magical words when you speak to others to form a habit. Let it be a part of your culture and that will make you a good boy or a good girl. Dear parents, there is a worksheet on magic words. Please help your child to write the correct magic word in the space given using the help box. So a big thank you to all my children who are listening to me. Bye.